you're a Christian, I wanna challenge you right now. Share this scripture, Romans 10, 13. Everyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. And if you aren't a Christian and you're watching this right now, I wanna encourage you to just call on the name of Jesus right now. Just say his name out loud and ask him to save your life. Share this scripture. Let's be unashamed of the message of Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 just one second. Let me pray for you really quick, okay? So Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for the person that's come across this video, God. I thank you for the heart that you've given them, the purpose that you've given them, Lord God. I pray for just the season that they're in. I feel like there's a lot of people out there who feel lonely, Lord, um, and don't feel like they have many people around them for support and community, God. I pray that you would just bring the people in their path to help build them up, to edify them, to encourage them in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that in this time where um, they might be depressed or yeah, feel anxious or lonely, God, I pray that they would really learn to uh, dig into your voice, Lord God, get into your word, spend time with you, God. Sometimes these seasons of what feel like loneliness are actually seasons of solitude to build our foundation with you, Heavenly Father, so that we can be strong and impact the world even greater. Bless the person watching this video. I hope you guys have a beautiful day in Jesus. Have a quick look at this. Chronicles 7 verse 13 through 15 is prophesizing something that's happening right now. I'll start off from the top. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain. What does this remind you of? It reminds me of the Australian fires. Or command locusts to devour the land. Look what's happening right now in East Africa. Or send a plague among my people. Hmm, now what's happening right now? That's right, the coronavirus. And then God says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. Was that an eye opener for you? Share this video to someone who needs to see this. I want to show you that Jesus is with you right now. So do this with me. Put your hands out like you're going to receive a gift and repeat after me. Jesus, I invite you to come to me right now. Holy Spirit, touch me from my head to my feet and from the inside out. Heal me. Make me whole. God, fill me with your love and take away everything that's not of you. I receive you. I believe in you. And I accept you. In Jesus' name, amen. I know God's with you. Let me know what happened to you in the comments, and if you still need prayer, I'm here for you. Love you guys. I look at my relationship with God and with Jesus is I'm not trying to earn God's love by doing good things. God has already loved me for who I am before I did anything to earn and deserve it. It's a free gift by accepting Jesus and just giving your life to him. And what he did is the gift. The forgiveness is the thing that we look at him. You know, I'm gonna worship you, God, because you gave me something so good. Believe it or not, Justin Bieber is telling the truth here. It doesn't matter who you are or where you've been. God's mind is already made up about you. He loves us. And the beautiful thing about God's love is this. He doesn't love us because we're good. He loves us because he is good.